What's going on guys? Now as you can see the title of the video, I actually recently picked up the Zoom H1. Now for a lot of you subscribers that watch my videos, you can already tell that I'm already using the microphone now instead of the stock audio from my Nikon D3100. Now I actually picked this up for a few reasons. One, because I need improved audio quality when I'm talking into the camera like this. And also it's very, very portable. A lot easier than running a USB cord all the way to the computer and trying to, you know, set up something right here. On the Zoom H1, it actually has just a tripod mount so you're able to, you know, position it where you want but still have no cords and wires or you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. And also I will be going to CES 2012. So what I want to talk to somebody and show off a product and have instead of all the background noise and clutter, I can just have the Zoom H1 held up to them like this, no cords and wires at all. Very simple, very easy solution for better audio quality. I'm gonna be showing you guys what's in the box, so let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so we have the Zoom H1 Handy Recorder. Now coming in the box, you're gonna have all your paperwork, all that fun stuff right there. You're gonna have your micro SD and adapter, a crappy battery that comes with it, and the Zoom H1 itself. Now taking a look at the Zoom H1 itself, it's very well put together, very light, a lot lighter than I expected. It has a very ergonomic feel and giving you guys a tour of the device. Looking at the side of the device, you're going to have your USB, your power button, flash, your playback buttons, the input level, and the line in. On the back of the device, you're going to have your three switches for the low cut audio levels, recording formats, and the tripod mount. On the other side of the device, you're going to have your line out and your volume rockers along with the micro SD. And on the front of the device, you're going to have your LCD screen and your recording button. And for a lot of you guys wondering what the Zoom H1 is, it's pretty much a handy recorder. Plug in a little SD card slot, and once you have the audio file, you just go ahead and sync it over into whatever editing software you use. I use Final Cut Pro X, and it's a very simple process. Pretty much all you got to do is have the selected clips. Make sure the clips are selected both each other. Go up to clicks in the menu bar. Go down to synchronize clips and it's that simple so once you hit synchronize clips you'll have one compounded clip with the audio on there and already synced up which is a very cool feature in final cut pro x now if you guys want to hear a quick comparison between the nikon d31 stock audio and the zoom h1 uh, right now i'm switching it to the nikon d3100 there is no microphone port in the nikon d3100 so i have to use a solution like this like the zoom h1 to further increase the audio quality. So I'll switch back to the Zoom H1. As you can see, the audio quality is much, much better. Uh, just expect a lot better audio quality from here on out for all of my videos. I apologize, I just couldn't find a solution. Now I have found the solution. So, and actually big thanks to Jonathan from TLD. He started this YouTube phenomenon of all this Zoom H1. Uh, pretty much every YouTuber has it. It's a very good pickup. So I decided to make a quick video for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe for more content just like this. You guys can check out all my social links down below in the box. Twitter, Facebook, Google+. And this has been Christian, also known as King Atlas. And you guys take it easy. Peace.